Okay, so we've done a couple of our Halloween decor items, but we did a witch and we don't have anything to go with it. Like I said, I'd never done a lot of Halloween crafts before, but I'm really into it this year. So come check out what I've created with these little jars and let me know what you think in the comments below. Today we're gonna go ahead and make something to go along with our witch as well as another little bonus item. Here we go, guys. Hi guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Don't forget, I try and link everything I use in the description box below. If I can't find what we used, I try and link something real similar. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my previous videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, hit the bell to get notifications for every time I post, and let's get started! Hey guys, I don't know what it is about this little beech nut baby food jar, but I just think it is the cutest little thing ever. So as I was sitting there staring at it, I thought, that looks like a cauldron. So we are going, well, an elongated cauldron, but we're totally going to make this into a cauldron for Halloween. So check it out. I have one coat of the um, chalkboard paint on it. We're going to go ahead and do a second coat. And if it's co totally opaque, we'll rock and roll with that. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and put a third coat on. I'll let you know how many I end up doing. As you probably remember this little cutie, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to finish him up. I'm going to use some purpley pink paint. This one is Anita's All Purpose Acrylic and it's in the color Royal Fuchsia. So I'm going to use a little of that. And then I have a couple glitters here. The glitters are 100% up to you if you even want to use them or not. I'm going to use them this time, but you know, you don't have to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by putting just a little bit more black down here. And then I'm going to put some of the fuchsia just at the top here. And basically I'm just doing that because I want the glitter to fall in more than one special or one specific location. So I want it to be distributed a little nicer. And I want the black to be, you know, as black as it can be. I don't care how thick that is. So we can really goop that one on. As long as you're not making it making it lumpy, which makes sense, right? Okay. And when I do this, I usually stick my fingers in the bottle because it just makes it a lot easier to paint, and you can go all the way around. Don't have to worry about touching it. Let's just paint the whole thing. Why not? Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and use some of this fuchsia, and I'm going to try and just dip into there. And I'm putting that around the top here. And I'm not going to make it real even, and I want it to be noticeable and not have to do a thousand layers, so I'm going to kind of goop it a little bit. I actually thought about watering it down so it would run, but that can get really messy, and then, yeah, I wouldn't really do that. So now I'm just going to take my glitters, and I'm going to sprinkle them. I'm going to kind of do it at an angle, and I want to focus at the top here. But if it falls down, I really don't care. So I'm going to touch up a little bit more with the black here. And this is just to get the color down there a little bit better. I don't want a gap between the glitters, so I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. And you could choose to do it with the color, but I'm going to choose to do it with the black. And shake again. And I like to shake at my angle. I think that helps it fall nicely and look more dispersed and like it's spilling over. So there's that for now, and now we gotta let it dry. So I'm gonna take some picture hanging hooks here, and you can get these at any hardware store. Sorry, it's not wanting to focus. You can get them at any hardware store. I picked these up, I believe, at Lowe's, and I got several of them, a pack for like $1.28 or something like that. And then, if you go over to Hobby Lobby, you can use a 40% off coupon and get some wire, which is what I got. I got some silver wire. I believe this one was a 20 gauge, 18 gauge, I don't remember, something like that. And it's really flexible, really easy to bend. So what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to go ahead and kind of figure out how tall I want my handle. I'm going to make it a little bit different and cute, so probably like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and bend it so that I know where I'm probably going to cut it. And then I'm going to go ahead and straighten it out a little bit and then paint it. So next we're going to go ahead and take our little painted hangers and we're going to put them on the sides. I'm going to hot glue it on. So just make sure that you remember hot glue is not going to hold that good on glass. So now I'm not going to be super particular that they're exactly even and exactly even as far as across from each other. So next is our little piece of wire that we painted. 
Here I'm just rounding the edges a little so it'll hang on to those hooks and then I just fit it in and clamp it so that they don't fall off. Then next I'm going to take some LED lights and these are the purple ones from the Dollar Tree. I stuck the battery pack in and then I swirled the lights around so it kind of looked like the potion was foaming out of the cauldron. Here's what it looks like off and on. So as you can see here, I did something I never allow my kids to do, and I brought in sticks. I'm going to go ahead and break a bunch of little twigs like this to be fairly the same size. I'm going to use a thicker one for the center, and we're going to twine wrap it around and make ourselves a broom.